Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Remember, we are on our way to 100k subscribers, and I will be so grateful. Today, I want us to address this serious issue about vaccinating of these birds. So many of you have really criticized me out there. Why are you still doing vaccination of your birds? Show us the organic remedies that we can use to vaccinate this but and this is the issue that I want us to address today and by the way this is really very serious because with these layers and the local birds if we are not careful we can end up losing the whole flock to these diseases there are so many poultry diseases that I've discussed some of them here and they're really so deadly once they affect the birds sometimes it is very hard or very difficult to cure among these birds so that is why today i want to share with you my organic vaccines that i have been using in this project and this has really kept my birds going remember i also have the local birds which we all know that they are also affected so greatly by this newcastle disease now like currently in my village all the birds including for my mom have really been suffering a lot from this newcastle disease but you find that at my farm here i've really not received such cases it is three months when we last vaccinated our layers i remember I made a video about that but up to now i've not vaccinated these birds and they do not have any sign of newcastle we all know that with these layers when they start laying eggs after finishing all the vaccine the fall pox vaccination the fall typhoid vaccination the gumboro boosters we are supposed to at least constantly vaccinate these birds after every eight weeks but this is sissy who, who has vaccinated her birds three months ago and up to today the birds are still very very healthy but also i want to warn you that if you know you're not going to be consistent with these herbal remedies i would advise please continue with the vaccination schedule because this is a venture that you invest a lot of money especially now with the layers and the broilers we always invest a lot of money in this project of which if these chicken diseases attack them sometimes you will not be able to handle it you will, sometimes you will end up losing actually the whole flock that is why please if you're not going to be consistent on this herbal remedies that i'm going to share with you today please I would advise continue with the vaccination okay so the number one herbal remedy that i have constantly used in my farm and i love it so much actually if you go in my farm right now it is the one i am giving this birds in the drinking water is the turmeric guys i've talked about turmeric before it is very very important in this project first of all it enhances growth and production in these bugs it improves on the gut health it modulates immunity and it has impact on the carcass trait and blood parameters of these birds that is why you must always use these turmerics in your farm turmerics by the way it is one of the herbal remedies that are really very very expensive now like currently if you go to a winner market it can cost you around eight thousand ugandan shillings one kilogram so please let us always have turmeric in our poultry farms another magical herbal remedy that i really love it so much in fact i've even mixed it with the turmeric that the birds are really taking the drinking water today is the garlic i've talked about garlic before it is so magical that you cannot miss it in your farm it will also rescue these birds from this vaccines i've used it a lot it helps boost in the immunity of these birds it helps boost in the appetite of the birds it has nutrients such as vitamin six and also manganese which are all essential for the benefits or the health of these birds so that is why i would encourage all of us out there please let us really always have garlic in our poultry farms and then also another wonderful herbal remedy that i love it a lot in fact currently i also have it we are sh surely going to use it to deworm these buds okay very soon we are going to use it for deworming these buds that is aloe vera aloe vera is a magical plant all of you out there you know the benefits of aloe vera some of you prefer using the gel but i've told you several times that always 
I blend our whole thing and mix in this bird's drinking water. We are going to do the warming of our birds very soon. We shall use aloe vera and charcoal. Then we shall deworm the buds because it has also been long I've not dewormed these buds. So aloe vera is one magical plant that please let us really embrace its use in our poultry farms. You can right now aloe vera is got everywhere. You can also plant it around your farm and that will save you a lot. Another magical herbal remedy that I love so so much is the papaya leaves. Papaya leaves are very very magical. In this project, it will help you from coccidiosis. It will help your birds from becoming sick. Guys, these papaya leaves are really very, very important to our. But that is why, please, I would encourage you, if you can plant this papaya in your farm, it will really help you. Now, some people call it the popo, and some people call it papaya. Whichever way you call it, it is okay. But just look for the leaves. Even the seeds are really very, very important in this project. And then lastly, one herbal remedy that I don't want to miss it out is the charcoal. Guys, charcoal is so magical and so beneficial to this, but in so many ways, it will help in diarrhea. Whenever you see any, any kind of diarrhea in your poultry farms, please grind the, the charcoal, smash it very well, mix in the drinking water, give it to the birds. We are also going to use it to deworm these birds. You can also use charcoal to remove poisons from your birds. Guys, charcoal is really very, very important. It can, you, it can, it can help in egg production in your birds. It can help in making the eggshells very strong. So that is why, please, if you can have charcoal, please get it and have it in your farm. It will help reduce the ammonia smell in your poultry farm. Now, like last time, what happened to my farm when the rain destroyed my farm? Guys, I gave them this bad charcoal and immediately I was not having any bad smell in my farm. And then also, some of you have been asking what type of charcoal are we supposed to use please i want us to use the local charcoal which is made or burnt from the local woods and the woods should not be the ones which is sprayed using chemicals please i want charcoal which is burnt from our local woods not the ones which are bought from the supermarket where you don't know where it is coming from i want us to use ordinary charcoal that is what we are supposed to use so let us go inside the farm and give the birds feed. See you right there. Our birds are really so eagerly waiting for feed. Eh? Let me do like this so that I can enter. If you're not careful, you can easily break these birds. This is some of the disadvantages of the deep litter system. Eh? People who have cages, they don't have such cases. See? You even don't have where to pass.
Let me add more feet. guys today i just want you to see the production but uh collecting the eggs i'll do it but birds are still doing so so well and this is just to motivate you and at least make you know that it, this is all because of the harbor remedies okay so that is our production for that day okay Another bats are still there laying eggs. So for today, that is all I had for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for all the comments. Guys, today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll be so grateful. And if you're still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video, comment in the comment section down below and I'll be so grateful. Don't forget to tell me which country you're watching me from and I'll be smiling. See you next time. I love you all. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.